Hello, in this video series I'll be showing you how to create springs with SolidWorks from simple straight to complex and deformed. If you find value here please like, subscribe, Patreon, buy merch or buy from affiliate links if you see any. Alright, on to the video. Okay, so first we create a new part. Then let's say on the front plane, create a circle. This represents the diameter of the spring. Then we'll pre select that and we'll go into is it features? Yes, curves, helix, and spiral. And from here, we will say. Um, constant pitch. We'll define it by pitch and um, let's go height and revolutions. So we will go constant pitch. We'll say it is two inches tall. We will say it is um, eight revolutions and starting angle zero clockwise and okay now I do want to change this diameter so let me go back into this sketch and we'll call this 0.5 inches so now we have a sketch that's a uh, spring that's two inches tall or a helix that's two inches tall and half inch diameter so now I need I want to create a now I need so this is our path so now I need a profile for our, because if we go um, sweep it's asking for a, a profile and a path. So here's our path. Now we want a profile. So I will create a plane normal to the end of this helix. In order to do that, I will select the end point, hold the control key to multi select, and then select the path. And from here, I will, I will press control plus, which creates a plane normal to that. That's my shortcut key. You can also in the reference geometry, so I select the in select both reference geometry plane, and you can see the plane allows up to three references to make a plane. In this case, we only need two. Hit OK. So now we have a plane right here. So on this plane, create a circle. Uh, it doesn't want to do that. Can I do that? I can. So I just projected the geometry of the helix s s to allow me to select the endpoint. I'll make that construction. And in fact, I can just delete that now and fix this point. And to find the diameter here, we'll call that. Um, See, point one. Okay, and uh, for rebuild, um, or we could click exit sketch. I click R for rebuild because it's quicker. Then we will go to sweep. Select my profile. Select my path. As you can see, they populated here. And enter. I mean, okay, checkbox, and there we go. So I can turn off my planes, and I can hide this path. And here we have a basic helix. Uh, 